not the most enviable position for the president's decision. I didn't want to see New York leap in front of Chicago. So I, we set up the community process, heard from the community, then have taken the steps forward to make sure Chicago is in the best position. I want to repeat, I want to move heaven and earth to get this done so the city of Chicago is in the best position. The president can pick whatever site he wants in the city of Chicago, but he cannot be in a position to pick New York over Chicago because of the benefits and the, the capacity, because this is a once in a lifetime. A president, I'm not waiting for another president from the city of Chicago to get elected to then pick Chicago. But wouldn't so, you be kind so of scared though if, if the Friends of the Parks keeps well, look, this I think I, my hope is that they will see our ability to create a win-win situation. But I will do what's necessary from the mayor's office to address the concerns raised by the uh, Presidential Library Foundation so that the city can gain and our neighborhoods can gain the jobs and economic development come with it. And we'll address the issues as it relates to acre for acre that may be lost so we continue the spirit of keeping open land. Mr. Mayor, are there, gonna, hold on a second. are there going to be some specific guidelines for how the, uh, the library or the university will use the balance of that 20 acres and what it can do with that parkland? Okay. I think that what we should uh, look at is what we have in the ordinance. Uh, it addresses that. I want to, the first step and first and foremost step is to make sure that between New York and Chicago, this is an easy decision for the president and the first lady to see Chicago as should be the winner.